So I bet you're asking yourself, how do I master the toads once and for all so Chinese people can understand me when I talk? Well, it's good you're here with me because I'm going to tell you two things, the components you need for a good self-study tone plan and the steps you need to take to learn those Chinese tones. By the way, if you don't know me yet, my name is Kuei Zhou, creator here at Elementary Chinese. I've been in China for 11 years, teaching people online for three, and I'm happy to help you out. The components you'll need for a good Chinese tone self-study plan are practice, feedback, and time. Practice because, well, practice makes perfect, not quite. Intelligent practice makes perfect, and you need feedback. So that way you know when you're wrong and what you need to change. However, yes, you can practice without feedback and still get better just by repeating along with audio. And the third component you need is time. Don't expect this to be overnight. You did not learn to speak your native language overnight. You did not learn to speak however much Chinese you know overnight. This toned practice will be a process. However, when I was in university, it took me about one and a half to two weeks to master the Chinese tones. Why? Because they gave us a quiz in Chinese 101. Actually, I think I took Chinese 111 at the University of Washington, but that doesn't matter. They gave us a quiz, so we had to study hard. And I had to put in, and by study hard, I had to put in maybe 20 minutes outside of class to practice the tones, and then I had the quiz the following week. So you have the components. I'm going to tell you the steps you need to take to get good Chinese tones. Step one, find good explanations. There are a ton of explanations out there on the internet for Chinese tones, but you need the good ones. That way you're not confused learn them. Step two, find good audio. Because if you do just robotic app audio tone stuff, your tones are going to suck. So you need to hunt for good audio. Because remember, you're going to practice with that audio over and over again. Now the next thing you're going to do is first practice the individual tones so you can get them correct in isolation. But usually the Mandarin tones don't exist in isolation, so you will need to begin to practice tone pairs as soon as possible. What's a tone pair? Two tones that go back to back. Ma -tsu. So huang. And they sound a little different, so find them and practice those. If what I'm saying is making sense for you, drop a fire emoji right down there in the comments. And then, my friend, you will graduate to practicing tones in phrases. Do this process as quickly as possible because phrases are what you're going to use to communicate in Chinese. Any one of my 23,562, not that I'm counting, followers on Instagram will tell you that saying Chinese sentences so you can get understood by Chinese people with the right tones is so hard. I have a course that can take you through all those Chinese tone steps and teach you so you can be understood and understand. It's called Fix Your Chinese Tones and the link is right there in the descriptions below. Your other option is to go and hunt on the internet for all the resources and put them together into one cohesive plan. Yes, you can follow the steps in my video, but if you want to save time and would like to work with me, I would be happy to help you out. Okay, Joe, elementary Chinese. Good, good study. Day, day up.